Clear Benno Bikes. We design electric bikes with the perfect blend of ride, looks, and cargo. We call it utility design, and it's what makes a Benno e-bike not just different, but better. We believe ride matters, because 100% of the time you use it, you ride it. It's why a customer test ride beats a spec sheet every time. But so many companies don't design for a great ride. They're so focused on individual features, they've lost sight of the single most important attribute of a bicycle, the ride. We believe looks matter, not just to us, but to customers. So we design e-bikes to look as good as they ride. Take a look at other e-bikes, and it's clear not every company shares this approach. Too often, they sacrifice design aesthetics for feature gimmicks. Life's too short to ride an ugly bike. We believe cargo matters, even when you're not carrying cargo. That means designing e-bikes to carry a heavy load and to ride and look great the 90% of the time they aren't. Like a cargo bike, Benno e-bikes can handle heavy loads. Unlike cargo bikes, we can do the heavy lifting without compromising the ride and looks. Achieving the perfect blend means mixing the best of every e-bike category into one Benno utility bike. Here's Benno with the recipe and one powerful blender. Hi there, my name is Benno. Welcome to Benno's Bike Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to blend up a perfect e-bike. Lots of bikes out there. We'll pick some for you that we think make good ingredients for the shake and we'll see what happens. So we'll take in a, a European city bike, traditional design, good looks, okay ride and just a small rack so it can't carry very much. So that's then we have a city cargo bike, can carry a little bit more. Um, so, about that, here it goes. A long tail cargo bike, so that definitely can carry a lot. Has a little, really long rack, a uh, couple kids, long loads. Um, but if you don't ride uh, with a load, um, could look a little bit funny. And of course, it's hard to ride, hard to store. It goes in the black. The bucket cargo bike is like the ultimate. You know, I mean, you can carry pretty much anything. Three kits, four kits, refrigerators. Um, however, if you don't have a load, it may be a little bit more bike than you want to ride. A little hard to ride um, and hard to store. So we're gonna it. And here we got a cool idea. It's a compact cargo bike. Um, it stores very well. So if you live in Tokyo, this is a perfect bike for you. Uh, however, small bike, small ride, and I think maybe it looks a little funny, but great idea, great thought, goes in the blender. I think uh, maybe all of these bikes could use a little more flavor, so we add a little salt, and we add a little sugar for sweetness, it could be sweeter too. We'll take some Tabasco and make them really spicy. And then here we got a, some mint from the garden and for the coolness factor. Here's our ingredients and let's go! Let's see what we got. What we got in here is a lot of blended stuff, good flavors. And we have a 24 inch Benno Boost utility bike. So it's all of these bikes combined in one. So when you Blend a bunch of cool bikes, you get a boost. There you have it, thank you. And uh, see you next time, bye bye. Let's dig into the details and break it down. 700C Euro City bikes look good, but good luck carrying anything more than a library book or your lunchbox. And because in most cases, they weren't designed for the extra power of a motor, the ride is compromised by a lack of rigidity and skinny tires. They just don't fulfill the true potential of an e-bike. City cargo e-bikes are better, but still not great. They can carry more than Euro City bikes and ride decently well, but the batteries, motors, and racks are an afterthought. And that comes from these companies taking pre-existing bikes and literally tossing the motors and the racks onto them. If you're carrying four or five kids, or you're an Amazon driver that just lost their license, the bucket cargo e-bike is the answer. But if that isn't you, you're probably buying way too much bike and you're not going to suffer in ride quality, storage, and looks. The Longtail Cargo Bike deserves credit as the original alternative to the Bucket Cargo Bike. They have an extended rear that can haul a lot and extra heel clearance if you're really tall or have huge feet. That said, they're cumbersome and unwieldy and look pretty awkward if you're riding without a load. 20-inch compact cargo bikes offer smart, concentrated capability 
They're ideal for apartment living and maneuvering through tight spaces, but the pinched ride makes it a bit awkward and less suited for longer rides. Good functionality, but kind of funny looking. With the Benno Boost, we've taken the best of each of these bikes and eliminated the compromises. One bike that delivers on an exceptional ride, great looks, and of course, the ability to haul when you need it. The Boost is fully capable, adaptable, and ready for anything. Carry heavy loads, a surfboard, even two Yep baby seats without an adapter. Now, we've talked a lot about the Boost today, but every bike in the Benno lineup features utility design, where the Boost may carry three times the load of a traditional bike. The eJoy, eScout, and Remy Demi can still do two times the load. The eJoy is negotiated a bit more on looks than cargo as compared to the Boost, but it's far more capable than every other city or commuting bike. Even the fun-sized Remy Demi punches above its weight with a ton of functionality. Its Instagram-worthy good looks are just a bonus. Utility design is the key to unlocking the true potential of the e-bike, because an e-bike that makes fewer compromises gives customers more. More reasons to ride, more reasons to love their e-bike. So next time you have a customer come to your store and they're looking for something other than a road or mountain bike, you should really put them on a Benno. It's the best blend of what they really need. And if they're like most customers, they're only in the market to buy one bike. So why not offer them the only bike that truly does it all?